Hello, I'm Ted Lindsay. Welcome to NHLPA.com. Well, Ted, to start, I'd like to say thank you very much for joining us here today, and uh, congratulations on having this prestigious award named after you. It's a wonderful honor just to play, to me, the greatest game in the world, and a game that I still love very, very much. And to have something like this happen, it's something that you never think of. This award every year will be presented to the most outstanding player as voted by the members of the National Hockey League Players Association. Ted, what does it mean to you to have your name on the Players Award, on the Players Trophy, knowing that they will vote on the player they deem most worthy? The wonderful thing about it is that your peers are the ones who vote for who wins it. I'm very comfortable with my name on this trophy. At that time in my career, I was one of the better hockey players in the world. So I feel humbled by it and very grateful for it. Ted, the, the trophy is adorned with some very interesting facts and stats, uh, uh, your signature, uh, some very unique pieces that, uh, that make the trophy stand out. And one of the unique parts of the trophy is uh, the story of how you kind of started the tradition of taking the Stanley Cup around the rink and take it to the fans at the Olympia so that they could have a, an opportunity to celebrate with the team. Tell us about that first celebration with the fans in the Stanley Cup. Well, we started with the fans because I always understood the fans. Those were the people that paid my salary. It wasn't Mr. Norris. It wasn't Mr. Adams. It was the people that sat in those seats. In the, old, in the olden days, the p fans used to sit with their elbows on the boards. And when the players come by, they'd, they'd move back so they wouldn't get hit with an elbow or something. And when the play went by, they'd move back to the board so they could see. And they'd look down, left or right, whichever to see what was going on. When I saw this after it was the cup, we won the Stanley Cup, and it was sitting on this little table at center ice, and all these people were still around, hanging around, standing on the boards, and so I took it over by the boards so they could see it, and they, all, they could see certain names on the cup, and, and I went around, and it took a little while, but I just did it because I was taking care of the people. Next year, you know, so we did, somebody picked it up and did after year after year, same, every spring, they always say, well, that was a Ted Lindsay tradition. You played a pivotal role in the formation of the original Players Association in 1957, a group that was ultimately stifled by the owners. The work that you guys did laid the groundwork for what is today the NHLPA. Tell us a little bit about that group in 57 and how it came about. Back in the six-team league, we as players never spoke to each other on the other team. Now to form a players association when you don't speak to each other is pretty difficult. I just thought we got to get together where we can do some negotiating. And the owners met nine and ten times a year. We as hockey players never met because we didn't speak to each other. It was on a Monday night in New York and we're all in the room. There was Doug and I were there and there was Jimmy Thompson were there, Gus Mortson, Fernie Flamman, but we're all there, we have the meeting, and we had to put $100 in uh, because we needed to pay the lawyers in New York. So all of the fellas said, now, who's going to be the president? <laughs> and they said, well, it's Ted's idea, we'll make Ted the president, knowing darn well when we got back to our home bases on Tuesday morning for practice, somebody was going to get hung. Well, anyways, I knew darn well when I got back to Olympia that the Red Wings wouldn't be getting dressed for practice. There'd be a, a red-faced Mr. Jack Adams in the room, and he was there, and he was ranting and raving, but uh, I'd do the same thing today. Ted, congratulations again, and, and thank you very much for joining us here today. Thank you very much. I've never had a greater day in my life.